Hey, hello, hello, hello. Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Are you are you there? Yes. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hey Dan. Nice, nice, Jose. Good evening. Welcome. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Sorry to 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 Good know. Evening, uh... Good evening, Connie. Okay, no problem, Jose. No problem. No problem. Okay, uh, guys, uh, hello, welcome. Uh, it's one minute, one minute to, to begin the class. Uh, let's see. How was your day? Good? Did you have a good day? Normal day at work? Teacher, I have the problem with my the audio. Ah, with, with the audio, but I can hear you. I can hear you but, perfectly. Teacher, me voy a salir y voy a entrar nuevamente. Oh, okay. No problem. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, all right. Let's see, uh, Jose, how was your day? Good? You good? Yes, teachers. The, the, my day was a, a little busy but, busy, but I'm okay. Okay, that's good, right? busy. That's right. Yeah. Very good. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, Mondays and Tuesdays are the most uh, difficult days of the week. Wednesday, not much. Thursday, uh, because of looking Friday. And when you are on Friday, Saturday, and finally Sunday. Okay, pretty good, guys. Uh, Connie, Connie uh, let's see, can you, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, right yes. now, yes. Okay, all right. Okay, no no issues with, with, the, with the microphone. Okay, okay. pretty yes. good, pretty good. Let's see, uh, mm -hmm. just uh, let me check something. All right, no, no problem. Okay, uh, welcome guys, uh, welcome to class number 14. We are very close to complete the model. Uh, intermediate model two is going to finish next uh, Thursday. All right, next uh, Thursday, we complete the course. Sure. Yeah, this week, okay. correct. This week. Oh my God. Yes, pretty fast. Uh, we just have class today. Uh, I so have a question, Tisha. What mm -hmm. is it, the last section that we can do? Ah, the order? last. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, the last section is uh, number five and the final exam. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, not a problem. Uh, if you are, if you are pending with any part of the assignments, uh, please do it as soon as possible so you can get a very good grade for your certificate. Okay, pretty good. Let's see. Uh, I will open the, the class. Let's see who else is joined. Ah, Angel, Angel Pineda, welcome. And hello, 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 Angel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome to class number 14. Thank you. Thank you. Not a problem. Okay. Let's see. Um, yesterday, we were using the present perfect. Uh, we were using what else? We were using at uh, last night class for this topic. Remember any important part besides besides that the topic, the present perfect. What else did you do you remember from last night class? What did we use? Remember uh, any important part? Bear uh, with uh... Pasado participo. Yeah, correct. That's it. Yes, the verbs with the past, but the past participle, that is the, the four number three. Correct. That is a very important part for this topic. Okay. Uh, remember the question, yes, about uh, Costa Rica. Remember? 
Yes. Yes, yes. That I made you a, have you visited Costa Rica? And you said, no, no, no. Okay. This is uh, just uh, the same picture. But we, this... we, we, we can visit Tisha because today or uh, right now we need a visa. <laughs> a visa? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, nice. I like pizza, but I don't mean pizza in Costa Rica or or where? Pizza. <laughs> no. B B I S R A. Uh, B I. Can you repeat it? Uh huh. Can you spell it back? We don't be. We, we don't know uh, Costa Rica because uh, today. Uh, well, one requirement to to visit this country is it have visa. Visa. Ah, you mean visa? I I heard, I heard visa about food. Oh, uh, no, no. okay. But the idea is exciting as well. Ah, really? Do you yeah. need visa for visiting Costa Rica? Uh, no, uh, no, not currently, but it's in the in the table and discussion today. Ah, oh, that's new. That's new for me. I didn't know. That's yeah. in, in discussion, you mean, right? Input updated. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Where where did you find out? Where did and, you find out? Yeah, I have um, some video and YouTube in order to know what is that that's information. Oh, okay, okay, good to know. Uh, because that means that we need that document for visiting <laughs> Costa Rica in the future. It's gonna be more expensive, yeah, I maybe. believe. Yes, but anyways, the laws are the laws, layers. Okay. Do you know? No, yes. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't have idea about that. No idea that you needed you're going to need a visa, all right? Okay. To visit to visit Costa Rica. That's a surprise. Okay, but anyways. Okay. Hey, this is an important question. Um, can you read it? Present uh -huh. present perfect continuum. Continuum. Okay. Repeat, really? repeat the question, please. Have you done your home, homework yet? Uh, no, not yet. I am pending with with my university project. I need to run because it's for tomorrow. Imagine. Not yet. I am pending. Yes, I know that is bad. And you? What about you uh, with your assignments? Have you done your assignments in the platform yet, guys? Uh -huh. Have you have you done your assignments yet? Not not yet. Not yet. Okay, but we are three in two days. We finish tomorrow and Thursday, and no more yeah. time. Yeah, all three days. Three days. We have three days. Basically, okay. yes, counting Friday, but Friday is is the limit, is the deadline. It's to too complete. late. Uh, not yeah. too late, but Friday is at most the final day for your assignment to be completed. Okay, okay. remember that, remember that. Okay, let's see. Look at, I am the girl in this, in this picture. She is, what is she doing in the picture? Check the animation. Have you done your homework yet? And you said, you said? She still listen the music, the homework. Do she, an exam. Ah, she's doing the, the, the exam or she's doing the homework, correct. So that means that she has not done her homework yet. Not yet completed. We are going to study the work yet in this class. Okay, uh, let's see who else is in class. Ah, Susana. Susana, can you uh, can you read uh, this uh, this question, please? Question 
Okay. Have you taste got milk yet? Okay, thanks. Uh, guys, have you tasted? Tasted is a, is a regular verb. Pronunciation is tasted. What is tasted is when you eat. Oh, let's see. I have this a piece of chocolate. I'm going to taste it if it's good or not. And you, mm, mm, oh, it's delicious. A taste, correct. Probar, saborear, etc. That's right. Very good. But the question is, have you tasted goat? What is goat? Look at know. the mission. Cabra. Uh-huh. Have you tasted goat milk yet? Leche, leche de cabra. Uh -huh. Have you tasted goat milk yet? <laughs> no. no. Not yet. No. I don't. Ah, not yet. But that means that you are going to. In the future. Okay. All right. Very good. Check. Guys. The word yet. Can you read it? Place. Yet. Let's place at the end of questions. Okay. Okay. One point. The topic is present perfect. You're going to place the word yet. In which position the position is at the at, M, at the end the of the, questions. The, the, the end of questions. The end of questions. What is the meaning of yet for you? Can you guess the meaning of yet? What is the meaning? What does it mean yet? Todavía. Ah, todavía. Mm. Okay. Can be, puede ser. Let's see, yet. We are going to use the Cambridge Dictionary, it says that yet is an adverb. Yet. Yet. Like that's it. Okay. It says until, until now. No. It means todavía, ah, pero todavía, significa todavía. But when you said, have you done your homework yet? And you respond, no, teacher, not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No, the, this answer is correct. Check. But yet means todavía. Todavía no. No, correct. But in the question, because the question is at the end, yet means in questions. Check. In questions, yet is equal or means hmm, ideas. It means? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Have you tasted goat milk yet? Ya ha probado. Uh -huh. Ya ha probado, ya probado leche de cabra. Leche de cabra. Uh -huh, correct. Now in English. Read it in English. How do you taste? God. God. Got yet? Uh, tasted. 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 Is tasted. tasted. The participle is tasted. Pronunciation. Correct. Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Todavía no. In the answer. But in the question means. Ya. 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 Yes. Ya probó. Uh -huh. Talking about an experience. Okay. What is uh, the meaning? Means something. Something, something that, that you that... have already done in the past. In the past. Okay. Something that you have already done in the past. Something that is complete, okay, is completed. It is finished. It is done. Complete. That is the meaning. Okay. Uh, are you clear with the position and with the meaning of yet in the present perfect? Questions? 
The position is easy at the end. The meaning, yeah. Example, give me one example in, in question. Present perfect, using yet. One question. Okay, one participant, only one, only one question. Think about a question in the present perfect using yet, in a question. If not, I will ask you. Si no, yo lo pregunto. Uh -huh. Have you, have you take, to, have you take uh, dinner? Uh, okay, have you take dinner have in the word? In the uh, word? The word, the word? Yet. Yet, correct. Yet is at the end. All right, let's see. Uh, correct or incorrect? The sentence... What do you tell me, guys? Correct, incorrect. What is missing? What is incorrect? Uh -huh, the auxiliary is correct. Uh, the subject. Oh, the word document is telling me. Ah, uh, check, check, check. Oh, ah, check. Oh, oh, uh, uh -huh, we need the list. Okay, what is the mm -hmm. participle of take? Take, simple past is took. In the participle, to. you just add one letter. You just add the letter. Taken. Taken, correct. Yeah. Simple present. In the participle, you just add one letter. Is that difficult, adding one letter? Difficult? No. No, it's not. Pretty easy. You just need the letter N. And you have the participle for this verb. Okay. The question says, repeat it. Have you? Have you take? Uh, have you taken taken dinner yet? Dinner yet? Ah, uh, yes, I have. I have already taken my dinner. Okay. Ya. Yeah? Other question, teacher. Ah, other question. Have you ever seen the rain? Uh, I like the song. <laughs> have you ever seen the... Ah, uh, uh, yes. Yes, I have. I have seen the rain. Very good. Open question. Not only closed questions. Have you, has she, has he, have they? No, not only, not only closed. Make open questions. You can uh, give me one example. JC, maybe open question. Uh, Carmen, if it's in class, yes. A Mercedes, open question in the same, in the present perfect. Open. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Sorry, I'm, I'm working. <laughs> oh, okay. No problem in that case. Okay. What about the rest? Open question, see present perfect using yet. Open question. Okay, maybe I'm I'm gonna ask you. Uh let's see. Open, open. What have you what have you done to resolve uh money, a uh, money problem? What have you done to resolve a money problem, guys? Tell me. Teacher. Teacher. The... Uh -huh. Money. Okay. Did yes. How about this is open. You cannot answer yes, I have or no yet. This is open question. I need information with, ah, okay. with this. Yeah. With this one, yes, because it's closed. Closed, yes or no. But open is different. What have you done to resolve a money problem? Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, we have a lot of um, um, answers. Um, answer. Um, to resolve a money problem, we can uh, lend money. Ah, okay, to... all right. Lend money, correct, very good. But make it using the same tense. The tense is the present perfect. Check. Tell me the answer using the present perfect. 
subject. Remember, subject. I I can resolve. I can 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 in the present perfect. Let me check 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 check. No, we don't have can in this topic. It cannot be can. Um. Okay. After the subject, you need. I I have I have correct correct the auxiliary. I have to resolve. Uh, lend, you said lend money. I have you had you said lend money, but what yeah. is participle of lend? Regular or ir or regular? It's irregular. It's the irregular. participle is lent. Lent. Okay, read it. Read it, please. I have, I have lent money. I have lent money. money. That's it. You don't need more. That's it. You don't need anything else. What have you done to resolve a money problem, guys? Give me your answers. I have one. I have only one. Mm -hmm. I robado un banco, me van a decir ahí. <laughs> really? Uh -huh. In English? He robado un banco? No. <laughs> no, yeah. no. But as, a, as an example, guys. How Not do yet. I say? <laughs> uh -huh. How um, do I say he robado un banco in English? Remember, subject. subject I, is I, I, I have. I have. Stolen. Robado, no Correct. Stolen. A bank. I have stolen. A bank. A bank. <gasps> really? Okay. Very good. That's it. Check. But I can do, uh, in, in still stalling, I can use rob. Rob. Rob yes. a bank. No problem. You can use it. Robbed. Yeah. Yes. But robbed is irregular. Check. Exactly. Yes. yes, it's regular because of ED. But the previous one was uh, stolen. That is the participle of the verb is still. Very good. That's it. Check. Always, guys, always. When you have open questions about you, ah, I have, I have uh, lent some money. I have stolen a bank. I have requested a loan. He solicitado un to the bank. Um, don't, do don't do it. Prestamo. No, a loan. Yes. yes. Yeah. Aha. I have requested. Check. I, I have, have requested. requested. Solicitado. Eh, solicitado. A loan. A loan. To the bank. To the bank. Bad idea, by the way. <laughs> Bad idea. Bad Too idea. high interests. No, don't do <laughs> it. Yes. Okay, guys. See? Subject auxiliary have because of the subject uh, participle of the verb, regular or irregular, and the complex. Oh. Yes, that's it. That is the order. All right? Okay. All right. All right. Let's continue. Uh, what else? Uh, can you read it, please? Uh, let's see. Erica. Hey, Erica didn't connect. Maybe oh. Angel or Albert. Oscar, can you read this part, please? This is... This This is the structure you can practice to talk about events in present perfect. Okay. Events in present perfect. What is the structure? The structure is... Hmm? Affirmative. First, affirmative. Check. I have tested, tasted, tasted God meal. meal. You have tested. You have tasted God milk. He, she, and it. Auxiliary. It has has tasted. Got milk. You. You have plural. Uh -huh. You have tasted. Have tasted. 
say good meal. Good meal. We, good meal. we have tested. We have our land tasted and they have good meal. They have. tasted they have. good meal. Correct. Teacher, can you pronunciation of the tasted? Tasted. Tested. Or tasted. Taste, is... Tasted. Tasted. Okay, let's find out in this part in the next uh, dictionary. Let me look for it. This is Longman. Check. Uh, taste is the normal verb, but in the participle or in the simple past is, uh, let me find it. Oh, it doesn't appear. Uh, no, it doesn't appear. But it's tasted. Tasted. Like that. Tasted. 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 Taste. Taste. Oh, like a, can I say test? They are prueba. Tested. Uh, test. Uh, tested. Mm. No, no, because taste is probar. Prueba is test. Yeah, I know, but in this case, test is using when I uh, check and the fun uh, the function of the of an object, an all component. Uh, it's kind of similar, but is is different. Taste. Is I, I can see the difference and the pronunciation, teacher. Mm -hmm. I okay. can listen different the pronunciation. Okay, yes. The thing is, because this is a regular, when you make it as a verb, and remember, the simple past or the participle of regular verbs you need to practice the three pronunciations. Number one is with the letter T. Like for example, work, yes? Simple past and participle of work sounds like? T. Uh -huh. Can you pronounce it? Oops, can yes. you? Work. Uh -huh. Worked, Work. letter T at the end. Worked because that is the way, as yes, worked simple past and participle, but the pronunciation is T. Another pronunciation in the regular letter D. Uh -huh. In the letter D, we have, for example, uh, this verb work, play, play, but in the simple past and the participle, we pronounce it as Played. letter D. Played. Played. D. Played. 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 Ha. And number three is ID. For example, in the verb uh, like this one that we are checking. Taste. Taste. Taste is the normal in the present. But in the simple past, in the participle, is ED. And the pronunciation is with? Taste. Correct, ID. Okay, this Taste. is a rule for regular, regular verbs only, only for re regular. So there are many verbs that you pronounce with T, the pronunciation is with D, or in this case is ID, ID. ID because tasted what about test but test is test uh, a verb is, yeah. is it test a verb yes or no yeah test. it's a verb is it um, yeah. no no let's check let's check let's check aha uh -huh. the thing is that you can check in this in this place test ah uh, it says Number. that is a noun, what is a test? Mm, blah, 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 questions, blah, blah. okay, let's continue checking because they can be uh, some meanings. 
Ah, blah, blah, blah. Okay. A situation, no. A test, a match. Okay, no. Okay. Verb. It's a noun. Ah, we have a noun and we have a verb. Yes. There it is. Aquí está. Test. What is the meaning? To put something? A trough of process in order to discover it if safe work correctly. That is the, the idea. Um, if something is present in it. In it. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's, it's to put something through a process in order to discover if it's safe or not to do test. For example, uh, racer, racer cars. Racer cars need to be tested. Tested. Repeat. Test. 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 Tasty. And this one is? Tasty. Yes, yeah, correct. Correct. Tasty. 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 And? I have clear. Tasty. 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 Correct. Okay. Very, very similar, but a slightly different in pronunciation. Because both... They have ID, both of them. Los dos tienen ID pronunciation. What is the difference? The first syllables. Taste, teeth. And this one is? Test. Test. Yes, yes. correct. Tested. Tested. Uh -huh. So, see, it's pretty important to be uh, very specific when you pronounce or try to do the, the correct pronunciation. All right, clear? Clear now? So clear. Okay, okay, pretty good, I'm glad. Okay, let's see, Continue, continuing, uh, besides the affirmative, we have the structure in? Negative. In negative. Uh, contractions, can you pronounce them, please? I haven't. You haven't. You haven't. Uh -huh. but complete, complete with the, with the. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't run a marathon. A marathon. Marathon. You. You haven't run a marathon. Okay. He. he run a marathon. She. He he run. Um. He, in the auxiliary. He, has, he hasn't. He hasn't. He hasn't. It hasn't uh -huh. run. A marathon. Okay, you haven't. You haven't marathon. run a marathon. We haven't. We haven't. Uh -huh. and they, they haven't. And they haven't run, they haven't. run, run a, marathon. a marathon. Okay, the participle is run. Is run. 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 Present. Simple past. Ran, participle, run. That is the way, yes. Okay, besides the negative, we have the structure for questions. Question. How can you make questions? Okay, this is for close, close question. Mm -hmm. How I have, run, have I? Have I a room a marathon? Have I run a marathon in the past? Mm, ah, no, no, I haven't. Okay, next. Have you had to run uh -huh. a marathon? Okay, change the verb, change the participle and the complement. Make me one question, but change the participle and the complement. Any question, make me one, guys. Have you? The question is for me, of course. Have you? Uh huh? Have you run a marathon? A different, different verb. Change the verb and the complement. Have you uh, played? Have you played um... volleyball? Volleyball. <laughs> uh -huh. Have you I played uh, volleyball? Uh, you play? 
Uh -huh. Play uh, volleyball today. Uh, uh, not not today. In the not past. Today. In, in the, the past, past oh, it would be. Have you have played you uh, volleyball play? in the past? Uh, no. No, I haven't. Guys, have you have you eaten sushi? Have you eaten? Have you no. tasted sushi? Yes, I have, teacher. Ah, what do you think about sushi? Like it? Yes, it's yes. it, it the best. Uh, best food. Best food, yes. Yeah, I agree. I love it. I love sushi. Many days of not eating sushi. Okay, as you, as you see, the auxiliary is number one. Number two is... The? You. Have you. The subject. Have you. Correct. You, he, she, they, any subject. Next. Number three. Have the you verb. run? Uh, room. Room. Uh, room. Correct. The verb in the participle and the complex. Ah, uh, teacher, but what about open question? How can I make it open? Okay. You make it open when you... Uh, when you make the question with a WH word at the beginning. For example, w -H. Uh, how? How? WH, uh, remember? How? What else? WH words. Where? When? Where? Uh -huh. when, when, where, etc., etc. Yes. What? Okay. Where? What, what have you done, guys? What have you done in the house? Uh huh. What have you done? Okay, huh? What is this? What have you done? ¿Qué hecho? What have you done in the house, for example? Your in parents can tell you. I, I huh? clean my I ah. wash the car. Okay. Let's change it. Until now. ¿Qué has hecho hasta ahora? Uh -huh. Contraction. Um, Contraction. I, I, I have three. You can say I have, yes. You can say I have, but in English, you can I've, make this contraction. I've. I've. I've I washed. Someone, someone said washed. My car. Yes. I've. Washed my car. Washed. T. Washed. My car. Correct. Okay. El lavado me. Yeah. All right, Got that's it. it. Yes. Okay, guys, this is all what you need to make affirmative, negative, and questions in the present perfect. This is what you need. Let's see in the next part. Practice the contraction. For, for the, the present, present perfect. perfect. The present perfect. Okay. Uh, these are these are the contractions that you can use in the present perfect. Okay. This is a matter of practice as everything. Instead of I have, you can say I've. 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 If you are not I've. sure, the pronunciation is I've. in. The dictionary, check. I need to pronounce the contraction of I have. I've. Repeat it, please. I've. 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 All right. I've. The next one, what is the next one? Jew. Jew. You have his. Jew. Jew. Pronunciation. Jew. Juve. Juve. Let's check. Juve. You've. 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 Hey, you've participated. 
Very good mm. in youth. Okay, youth. Youth. That's it. Yo. Okay, this is uh, for you to practice, guys. We are going to check something else. Okay, in the present perfect, we use we use two words. The word yet, yet and yet. and already and already. already. Okay, already. can you read this? Both, Both. already, already and, and yet and yet refer to activity. To activity. That have that or, or have it occurred, occurred, occurred before, before the present, the present moment in time. In time, okay. In other words, we use them in the present perfect. How? Example. Yet is for for, for a question and question and question. At the That's end. At the end. Okay, it goes at the end. And the next word is already. 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 For already. affirmative sentences. Affirmative sentences. Go after the auxiliary has. Have has. Have or has. Let's see the examples. Example number one. She, she has them. Finish. Here, assignment. 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 assignment, yes. Okay. Yes. She hasn't finished her assignment yet. Okay, negative check is uh, yet is for affirmative in questions. Okay. And negative, but at the end. At the end. Next. Yet. They had. They haven't visited the room yet. Oh, okay. What is the meaning of this a sentence? They haven't visited Rome yet. Um, what is the meaning? Negative. Ah, okay. The meaning. The meaning. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. ellos no vis they they no, um, and the meaning, what is the meaning? Ellos no han visitado from they Roma. Have, they have Roma. Todavía. 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 Uh, All right. Todavía. But in the future, they will visit Rome because it might be a plan. Puede que sea un plan. Okay. And in the question, the next question, have you? Have you visited, visited Rome? Rome? Yes. Ah. Rome. Uh, what is the meaning of this one in the number three? What is the meaning? From uh, have you have you visited Rome yet? Have you, have you, have Roma. From yeah. yeah, correct. Ya ya ha visitado visitado Roma. Correct. Yes, that's it. Have you visited Rome yet, guys? Have you visited uh, downtown? Yet, the new downtown in yeah. Salvador. Have you visited uh -huh. downtown yet? Yes. 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 yes, I have. Yes, I have. Correct. Yes, yes I have. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. What about uh, the word already? Affirmative sentence. It says, uh, example. Jennifer already, has already eaten already her lunch. All right. What is the meaning of the sentence with already? Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Jennifer has, oh, uh, the meaning. Okay, why do I ask? Because I want to make sure that you get the, the meaning of already in so, affirmative sentences. Jennifer, Jennifer has already, yeah, the activity so is completed, is done. The, the activity is completed. It's not pending, it's done, it's completed. Jennifer has already eaten her lunch. Jennifer? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, say. Ya se ha comido su almuerzo. Su lunch, yes, correct. That is the meaning. 
already means that an action is completed, is finished. <laughs> it's already finished. Ya se completo. And yet, not complete. Not yet. Todavía no. In oh, a near no. future. That is that is the meaning. Already activity completed. Yet not complete. Todavía, no, All right. No complete. Not complete. That's it. Next example. I have already seen it. I have already seen it. Ah, uh, have you have you watched the movie uh the padrino, el padrino? Uh -huh. The Godfather. Have you seen uh, the Godfather movie? Guys? Not. Ah, okay, in the case that, that you have already seen it, you can say, yes, teacher, I have. I have already. Already? I already seen it. And then what seen is it. the meaning of this? The meaning? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. no. Yes. Affirmative. Yes. Ya la. The movie. Ha, ha visto. Yeah. Ya la he visto, yes. Uh -huh. I have already seen it. Ya la he visto in the past. All right. So you completed that action in, in the past. All right. Okay. Is it clear uh, the difference between yet and already? Clear? Uh... We are going to practice. Don't worry. We have links so, to so, practice so, so. this. Uh -huh. Okay. But to make sure to understand better, we need to practice with examples, with exercises. Besides that, we have another word that we can use in the present perfect. The word is? Ever. 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 Like uh, like the Spanish name in El Salvador. Yes. Ever. He is ever. ever. No, ever is this is not a name. English. This is a word. Ever is? Use for question two. Two. It means? Alguna vez. Alguna vez. Ah, okay. How do I say in mm -hmm. English? Um... ¿Alguna vez has ha ido al Galaxy Bowling en inglés? ¿Ah? ¿Alguna vez ha ido al Galaxy Bowling? Guys, en inglés. Ever. How do I say that? How do you ever. Correct. Uh, go. Have you ever. Uh -huh. Gone. Gone. Uh, Galaxy Bowling. To. To Galaxy Bowling. To Galaxy Bowling. Guys, have you ever gone to uh, the Galaxy Bowling in your life? Yes. Yes, I do, teacher. Yes, I yes, do. I have. Yes, I do. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Aha. No, I haven't, teacher. Okay, no problem, Carmen. Remember, guys. You are going to give your answer with the same structure that the question. Check. Have you ever gone to Galaxy Bowling? Yes, I have. No, I haven't, etc. Guys, do you have another class tomorrow? Yes, I have. Do you have another class tomorrow? Listening, listening, listening. Attention. Do you have another class tomorrow? No, I haven't. Do you have another class tomorrow? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Why? Teacher, why? Uh, yes, because yes, the I question do. was with the auxiliary do. Guys, do you have children? No, I do. I, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Correct. No, yes, I don't I if, do. if you don't have. Yes, I do if you have. Correct. Yes, okay. Have you ever played, uh, uh, let's see, a poker? Have you ever played poker? No, I haven't. No, no you haven't. Okay. No, I haven't. 
No, I haven't, because it's close. Okay, because it's close question, yes. Okay, pretty good. Listening, attention. Okay, let's see, examples, examples, examples. Have you? Have you ever, ever climbed, climbed, climbed the Everest? The Everest. The Everest is a very high mountain in the in Los Alpes, if I am not wrong. Okay. The next uh, example. Have you ever been in Europe? No, I haven't, but I want to in the future. Yes. Have you ever been in uh, La Unión? Have you ever been in La Unión, guys? No, I have. No? No, no you I haven't. haven't. Uh, have, have, you, have you ever visited Las Tunas? Las Tunas Beach in La Unión? Have you ever visited Las Tunas? The tuna. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Agreguele. Agreguele. No, I haven't visited. No, I haven't. The word. The yet. word yet. You can add yet. Le puedo poner yet at the end. No todavía. No. O todavía no. Yes. Okay, very good. Let's see. We are going to make a couple of practices. Don't worry. Um, okay, this is number first. Indication is reorder. The word. Reorder, reorder, reorder the words to, to make questions question in, in the, the present, present perfect tense. tense. Okay, let's check. The first sentence. Tell me the first correct order for sentence number one. She has spoken. German in German has. German German has German has uh -huh. no, no. no. Has she is in... question okay. remember the indication says question has Correct. When you have questions, the auxiliary is in the first place. Has, has, has she, she spoken in German? She. Ah, okay, very good. All right. Is that correct? Mm. Hmm? Read it, read it <laughs> to make sure. Has Correct or incorrect? Correct. Uh, it is correct, correct yes. Oh, no. Has she spoken in German? I didn't listen. No escuché. Okay, good. Number two. Uh -huh. Let's see, uh, Jacqueline, Mercedes, Jose. Oh, hey, what, what happened? What have happened? you? Have you have, played basketball? Have you played basketball? Okay, okay. Have uh, you? Played basketball. Played. Played. Played basketball. Basketball. Okay, pretty good. Uh, yes, I have, but I don't like it. I don't like basketball. But yes, I have. Next. Next sentence. Have Reopen. they played in Turkey? Have they played in Turkey? Turkey. Here in, in Turkey. Turkey. Ah, for Thanksgiving, for example. Okay, very good. That is the correct order, yes. And finally, we have. Has, has it, it, has rain, it rain, rain, rain today? Today. today. Has it rained? Rained today. Today. Has it rained today, guys? Do you know? Has it rained today? No, no teacher. No. No? No teacher. No. He, here, no. Yes. Okay. What is the answer in the negative? Has it rained today? 
You has no used hasn't. It. No hasn't. No. no. Hasn't. It hasn't. Yeah, correct. Because it, it this one is easier. No, no it, it hasn't. Is. Hasn't. Has subtraction, yes. No, yes. it is. Has. Yes. Ah, no, todavía no. No ha llovido. Maybe later. Maybe at night. We don't know. Okay, pretty good. Okay, that's it. Let's see uh, more practice. Let's check. Ah, as well, you have the list that we checked last night. The check, the check. The lists that are related with regular and irregular verbs. They are the links. Practice with the next links about the present perfect. So we have links to practice. Check, I will open one because we have only one minute. Okay, let's see, I will open this one. Okay, I'm gonna activate the links. They are not active. Just uh, one moment. Okay, now they are active. Oh, there it is. Okay. Link number one, present perfect, sentences, exercise one. Indication, put. Put in the browser. Use present perfect. Present perfect. Okay, the example. The example, I, my father's car. But this is the infinitive, the normal verb. You need the participle. So in the present perfect, the answer is? I have, I, I have washed, washed, washed my father's T, pronunciation T. I have washed, 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 washed my, father, my father's car. 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 Okay. Let's try out number one. Karen, Karen. Karen. has. Okay, read the compliment. Read the compliment. Uh, uh -huh. Me, me, and an email. An email. Uh, ah, is uh, the yeah. exercise is uh, talking about an email. Okay, Karen, what is next? Have has sent has sent mm, mm, has sent has mm, an okay. email has sent me an email an email uh, okay how do you know that is send the participle send is the normal verb what is the participle oh. of send? Send it. Send it. Mm -hmm. We need to check the lists. Send, regular or irregular? Mm. Opinion, regular or irregular? Irregular. 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 Correct. I don't know, teacher, what is the participle of Send. Control F. Invoice. Send. Ah, there it is. Present. Send. 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 Past. Sent. Sent. Participle. Sent. Sent. How many send. letters are different in in send? How many letters are different? Letter D. And letter T. You change the D by letter T. Difficult to change a letter for the participle. No, no. 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 difficult. Easy. It's attention and retention. Okay, very good. So the participle is sent. Okay, number two. Two minutes. Let's do. This one only. Dave to Pat. Dave and Pat. And Pat. 
tema sem how, how to visit the museum how to visit to visit okay now no the mas okay yes, correct yes or incorrect <laughs> correct uh, ah, okay let's check if it's correct all right. Check. All right. -na -na -na. <clears throat> then number two that we have just done is incorrect yes why two uh, we two because do we don't need two. we don't need to we don't use to in the present perfect. We only use the participle, check, the participle and the parts. No two. Two is for the simple present. But this is present perfect tense. Okay, guys, practice and complete this exercise as practice and then go to the assignments and complete the assignments in the platform please all right yes the the all presentations right. are already uploaded just as we all right thank you guys uh not a problem thank you for connecting see you at tomorrow in the penultimate class tomorrow is the penultimate oh. class see you take care Good night. Good. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you guys. See you.